Hi everybody, thanks for watching your weekly dose of anti-food waste from my crappy kitchen and today we are going to celebrate spring. I've got three great recipes with spring onions. In Europe the summertime has begun last weekend and therefore we are celebrating the spring with three spring onion desserts. A couple of weeks ago I had a tip to make a spring onion flat. If you don't remember this tip, here it comes, a little flashback. The idea is to make a regrow spring onion flat. Is this crazy enough? Now three weeks after, we have a shitload of spring onions and I don't know what to do with it because I already put them in my pastas etc. And then I got creative and I made three desserts from your spring onions. Here comes the explanation for all the three recipes and you can bind them together to get a great gourmet dessert. Ok, I'm going to do this in one shift, so pay attention. Firstly, we're going to make some sorbet ice from spring onions. I'm going to make a panna cotta based on the spring onion flavor. And last but not least, we're going to make a sugar syrup with spring onions as coloring and flavor. First recipe, the sorbet ice. We need 150 grams of sugar and 150 ml of water. Put them together, it's one on one, and we're gonna give this some heat later on. We also need 400 milliliters of water and six spring onions, and we're gonna blend this just for the color and for the flavor. And in the end, we're gonna mix this with the sugar syrup. But firstly, we are going to soak some gelatin leaves, just put them in the water and later on we are going to put them in our sugar syrup which we are going to give some heat now and the aim is to reduce this 200 milliliters of syrup back to 150 so it's near to 30 or 35 percent of the total 500 grams of sorbet ice we are going to make. Now strain the syrup you have, the green mixture and if it boils like this the heat is going off and we put the gelatin into the sugar syrup give it a quick stir so the gelatin will dissolve into the mixture and add both mixtures to each other give it a quick stir and then it's time to put it in the freezer firstly we're going to put it for two hours in the freezer then we're going to take it out we're gonna stir it with a fork like this so the ice molecules are going to be broken so the ice would be softer again and then after 30 minutes we're going to do the same after and after so in the end you got a soft a frozen substance now the panna cotta we need 250 gram milliliters of cream unwhipped cream six spring onions and six leaves of gelatin we're going to mix 50 milliliters of cream with six spring onions and we're going to heat up 200 milliliters of cream on the stove on a low heat. Normally you put the flavor into the unwhipped cream but now we are not going to do this because if you heat up spring onions it will lose its flavor, it will lose its color. This is what we don't want. We're going to soak up the gelatin leaves and if the cream has boiled like this put the heat off and add the gelatin into the mixture and then give it a quick stir so you know for sure that the gelatin dissolves totally in the unripped boiled cream let it rest for a while so it can cool down and then add the cream with the spring onion coloring and flavor give it a quick stir and then you can put this in, in small baking trays it, it comes in handy if they are from plastic like those one I have oh, just a little bit more you see them here just put them in some cake spring forms etc um, it comes in handy if they are from plastic so you can remove the panna cotta easily just add them in and put them in the fridge for at least two hours for the final recipe, the sugar syrup, 
we need 150 milliliters of water, 150 grams of sugar, one on one, put it on the fire and dissolve it and cook it so you get a nice syrup. Blend it with the spring onions and just pour it into an, uh, do you call it, easy plastic bottle so you can put it nicely on the plates. Now let nice. the spring begin. We have a very delicious dessert for it already and it's gourmet and it's fantastic. Now if you have some comments or tips, share them on my Facebook page and you can subscribe by clicking on this button and then you will see me next week with a new tip and a new dose of anti-food waste. In the meanwhile, watch your waste. Bye! Now if you have some comments or tips, share them on my Facebook page and you can subscribe.